Lumen Living presents Bedtime Thoughts with your girl, Dawn. I am so glad that God comforts us in our suffering. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 through 4 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. I am so glad that God gives us the grace and mercy to be able to be delivered from those things that are hindering us. And when we overcome and we triumph over those things, we are able to be a help and a guide to those who are downtrodden and cast down by these things. It's time to have these conversations, guys. The hard ones. Welcome back to another episode of Bedtime Thoughts with your girl Dawn. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about toxic people. This can be in relationships, family members, friendships, any type of relationship you have in your life. Want to be able to notify and understand when you are surrounded by a toxic person or when you're involved with a toxic person. And this could take away from the peace that you can have in your in your spirit this the mental peace um happiness overall balance mentally so it's important to know your the value of your relationships in your life it's important to know the company that you keep and who you keep close and who you call your friends and your close-knit family members um who you allow into your space because then they can either add to it take away from it corrupt it or make it better um so analyzing the relationships that you have in your close circle is very important and um i want to go with you to the verse of scripture for today which is coming from first corinthians 5 and 11. but now i have written unto you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner which such and one not know not to eat. And so basically this verse is saying to watch out for the company that you keep. This goes into toxic people. So sometimes we in, we surround ourselves with people that we think are for our greater good or have our best interest at heart and they turn out to not be. Um, a article that's by Vanessa Van Edwards called Seven Types of Toxic People and How to Spot Them um, had some really great insight on pinpointing characteristics or types of toxic people. So she came up with seven types of toxic people, which I'm going to um, share with you today. Number one, the straight jacket. The straight jacket is someone who wants to control everything and everyone around them. They want to be in charge of what you do, what you say, and even what you think. They freak out when you disagree with them and won't stop trying to convince you that they are right and you should do what they say. This person will give you no breathing room and will constantly nag you until you are in complete alignment with them. Um, so as you can see, straight jacket is a pretty straightforward personality. Um, and this is somebody who, when you get around them, you feel trapped, you feel suffocated. When you're finding yourself, um, this is in biz business partnerships can be very difficult, this type of personality, because if you are owning 50% of the company and they're owning 50% of the company, but the company is everything that they want and you see nothing of yourself or your dream in this company, that won't be a very... Um, good professional relationship to start off with and the business could go down just because of that the emotional moocher is number two an emotional moocher is also known as a spiritual vampire because they tend to suck the positivity out of you or bleed you emotionally dry these are the people who always have something sad negative or pessimistic to say in conversation and in relationships they can never see the positive and tend to bring everyone down with them 
that one's pretty straightforward as well. I'm sure, you know, we all have our, da our days where we're not doing that great and we have like a little pity party. But this person would be the one who's having a habitual pity party. This is the one who sees the glass half empty all the time and there's never any sunshine when they come you come around so this is the type of person that you might feel um like you're constantly being a tissue for them you know you might feel like the every time you get around them and when you leave at the end of the night you're not in a happy mood anymore the drama magnet is number three. Some toxic people are magnets for drama. Something is always wrong, always. And of course, once a problem is solved, another one emerges. And the on they only want your empathy, sympathy, and support, but not your advice. You offer help and solutions, but they never seem to want to fix anything. Instead, they complain and complain and complain. Um, I think we all know a drama magnet in our lives um whether they're close or not that close to us um someone who just always wants this shoulder to cry on but doesn't want to fix their situation even if their situation is fixable or they can flee their situation or they can do something about their situation it's easier for them to be miserable and not figure out a solution or not go to the source of where they can get their help so this might be um, someone, when you get around them, you already know it's going to be a story. You already know something has went down. You already know that phone call is going to be something catastrophic has happened in their life. And you need to get ready to say, oh, I'm sorry this happened to you. Or get ready for a roller coaster. <laughs> um, the next one is the JJ. A JJ is a jealous, judgmental person. Jealous people are incredibly toxic because they have so much self-hate and they can't be happy for anyone around them. And typically their jealousy comes out as judgment, criticism, or gossip. According to them, everyone else is awful, uncool, or lacking in some way. If someone starts to gossip jealousy about other people, Watch out, this might be a toxic person and you never know what they say about you behind your back. And so it's so true, like if you're, if you have a friend who constantly talks about everybody, you have to watch out what this person is saying behind your back. Um, because if they're not being a, a good friend to other people, most likely they're not being a good friend to you. Um, so being around this person might feel like there's gossip all the time. Um, there is criticizing. There is pointing out of everyone's flaws around, you know, poking fun just to make themselves look better. So this one might be, this one will not might, but it is a very toxic person to keep in your close circle. The Fibber. Um, so liars, fibbers, exaggerators is exhausting to have a toxic deceiver in your life, whether they tell little falsehoods or major lies. Dishonesty drains us because we are constantly doubting their words. If your intuition is ringing alarm bells, then watch out, get out before you lie, you're lied to. So this one, of course, is straightforward. It's someone who's a habitual liar. It's someone who continues to stretch the truth or exaggerate the facts. Um, and maybe they're doing, they're embellishing their stories to get more attention. Maybe they're telling these lies because lying seems so much more better than the truth. Whatever it is, it's a toxic behavior and you don't want that in your close circle. The last, number seven, is the tank. A tank crushes everything in its wake. A human tank is always right, doesn't take anyone else's feelings or ideas into account, and constantly puts themselves first. In a relationship, tanks are incredibly arrogant and see their personal opinions as facts. This is because they often think they are the smartest person in the room. So they see every conversation and person as a challenge that must be won over. They rarely see others as equal. So, 
That one is pretty straightforward about the tank. They're just railroading you. And this person, you'll never be right around them. If you don't agree with them, it's not going to look good for you. Um, they're going to somehow persuade you that they're right. And they are completely arrogant. So they they're they think they're just everything in a bag of chips. Um and they're never going to consider themselves equal to you. So this is a very toxic trait, especially can play on your um, self-esteem. If it's not already strong, um, it could diminish you. So you want to be careful for the tank in your personal life. You don't want someone who's going to always make you feel like you're dumb or you're not good enough or that your ideas are not creative enough or, you know, that you're just not a good person at all um so you definitely don't want someone like this now other ways to know that toxicity is around you is if you feel these things you have to constantly save this person and fix their problems you are always covering up for them or hiding for them you dread seeing them you feel drained after being with them. Mm. You get angry, sad, or depressed when you are around them. They cause you to gossip or be mean. You feel you have to impress them. You are affected by their drama or problems. They ignore your needs and don't hear when you say no. So that's very important to, to notify those signs of when you're dealing with toxic people because if you feel any of those, those things, that's not a good situation to be in. That's not a good friendship to have, not a good relationship to be in. Um, you want your relationships to thrive. You want the people in your life to exemplify positivity, to exemplify light and happiness. You want the people in your circle to be a radiant light of positivity and, and success. I remember um, being in this, in college, being in this state of mind where I was depressed. I was, I had very low uh, self-esteem, um, mentally just at an all time low. And I began to surround myself around people who were driven, people who were positive, people who had goals, people who had a mindset to keep moving and pushing forward. And before I realized it, I had basically did a 180. Like I found myself goal oriented, more driven, wanting to be i was passionate about things i had goals i was inspired to do more and be more so that i could become a positive light to other people and i became a mentor and, uh, and it was so interesting how i changed my mindset and changed my close circle um that i was around and it it turned me into being a strong female and it's so um, crazy how people can influence you. So when a person has high influence power, whether it's good or bad, it can influence you and it, and it can affect you and your mental state. So you want to definitely keep people in your life that are driving you, that are putting you in a positive direction and you want to watch out for the people in your life that are dragging you down or that are um affecting you from going forward or affecting you from being that light that you are that god has meant you to be because god doesn't want us to be destructive god doesn't want us to be in a negative mental state he wants us to be happy human beings um so I thought, I, I hope that this was a very informative lesson for you. It definitely helped shed some light on me. And as I navigate my friendships and close relationships, um, who I want to keep close and who I might need to put some space between um, just for my mental health and my mental capacity. Um, so I hope you're just as encouraged as I was today. 
Before you go, let's have a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you for the listener that you've compelled to watch this series and watch this video. I ask that you help them, give them double vision, give them vision to see inside of their relationships and to be able to pinpoint the toxicity that might be corrupting their lives. Lord, I ask if you take a toxic person out, replace them with two good, positive people in their lives. Lord, you know you never forsake your children and you will never steer them down a path. Your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Lord, I ask that whatever they are feeling, if they're feeling heaviness or anxiety as it comes to their friendships and relationships in their close circle, I ask that you be a, a, a mind regulator in this, Lord. And I ask that you be a comforter for the experience of uh, grievances that they may feel of the loss of a friendship or the loss of a relationship as it comes to bring them peace of mind later on. As you provide for them later on someone that is better for them, someone that is a better fit to be involved in their relationship. And you surround them with a good godly group of people, a good positive influence on their life, good people to fellowship with, good people to break bread with. And I ask this all in your precious holy name, in Jesus' name, amen. And come back next time for another great segment. Um, got some good stuff coming up in the near future. So you don't want to miss, you don't want to miss. Um, but as always, guys, it's time to have these conversations, the hard ones. <laughs>